Thanks for joining us for Storm Warning. I'm your host, Alexandra Toomey. We're here with Ms. Ruman's important information for yearbook, again. Hi seniors, we just wanted to remind you that this Friday, October 11th, you need to hand in your senior pictures, your looking back pictures, and your senior will items. And if you need this sheet, it's in front of my door, E112, or in front of Ms. Brown's door upstairs. Be on time, thank you. We're here with Grant Emmerich. I'm Grant Emmerich, and I'm part of the Scarborough debate team. I came in first at uh, Lincoln Academy for a congressional debate in the House section, um, which helped uh, Scarborough as a school to win third in sweeps, which was nice. Uh, it was a fun process and my first victory and first placement in uh, the third, second, or first uh, uh, placement option. So I'm, I'm glad that I was able to do that and hopefully can win another. Right, let's see the trophy. It's the third place trophy our school was awarded for uh, sweeps. Great, thank you. We're here with Mr. Townsend to talk about the first annual homecoming golf tournament. Uh, yes, we had a good turnout this year. Um, we had eight staff members. We were hoping for a few more, but uh, the eight that showed up had a blast. Um, unfortunately, my team lost to Mr. Huntington's team. Um, but we had fun. We're hoping to do it every year. We're hoping to get more staff involved next year. And uh, I just hope that I don't have Mr. Guerin on my team next year because it appeared as though he had never touched a golf club in his life. So what were the highlights of the day? Well, we did three uh, contests. Um, we did a longest drive, which was won by uh, Mr. Susie. And we also had two closest to the pin um, contests. One was won by Mr. Susie, and the other one was won by myself, Mr. Townsend. So do you have any other outings planned? Yes, we're looking at possibly planning a bowling tournament uh, right around Thanksgiving. So any staff members that are interested in joining us, please contact Mr. Susie or Mr. Townsend. We're here with Ms. Richardson and Ms. Prue to talk about upcoming events for the chorus and the band. This time of year is really busy for chorus and band students because it's audition season. Right now we have three upcoming auditions for both band and chorus students and um, the first one is coming up this, this Friday. Friday. Yep, we're going to take off around 8.15 in the morning and head up to UMA for an all-state jazz audition. And then next Tuesday afternoon, we're going to take a busload of kids um, to the District 1 auditions. And that's all the way bus ride to beautiful Sanford, Maine. So we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, they have to work ahead of time to learn their music and practice it. And they're competing in each of these auditions against a lot of other students. The All-State Jazz Festival auditions are this Friday. And that literally is all the jazz musicians in the state who are interested in competing for this event. Yep. And so each ensemble is really limited to um, like the big band is limited to like 19 performers. The choir is limited to eight voices per part. So it's very, very competitive. And the combo is pretty much the whoever sh gets determined as the cream of the crop. So it might be as small as a six member ensemble. It might be as large as a 12 member ensemble. So it's, it's, um, it's very difficult to, to pass muster for that. The district audition is just the southern portion of the 
of the state, um, schools that are from South Portland and Cape Elizabeth and South are uh, the kids that we'll be competing with. And then come November, um, we go to the large scale band, orchestra, chorus, all state auditions uh, November. And that again is, is a full scale state competition. And the choir is 240 voices. And each band is about uh, the band is in about 90 and the orchestra is about 90, 90 performers. So to be involved in one of these events is really a great honor for our music students and we want to wish them all great luck as they get on those buses and roll to auditions and we'll be letting you know how we do. Red Storm rocks. I'm Tasha LaRose from Storm Morning and we are here to interview the girls from the field hockey team. I am here with Michaela, Rachel, Maddie, Coach Mariella. How is your season going so far? Our season's going really well. Um, I think we've come a long way from the beginning of the season. We're really getting used to each other's playing style and definitely passing more, being more successful in our games. And compared to last year, how do you think you're doing? Um, well, compared to last year, I mean, last year we didn't get any goals scored upon us, but I don't think like that really takes a, any in, into any effect, really, because I think we're doing just as well. Um, we lost 10 seniors, so we knew it was going to be a challenge. I think we rose to the occasion. And you got upcoming games you guys are ready for? Big game against Chevrolet Thursday, so we're always, it's always a big game, we're ready to play them. Senior okay. night. Yeah. Senior night is this Thursday? Yeah. And what do the playoffs look like this year? Uh, it looks uh, pretty promising. We should finish in that um, number one spot, which we were hoping for. Uh, it helps with home field advantage, and um, having our games on the turf facility is a huge advantage, especially in our sport. So we're hoping to take it as far as it'll take us, and play um, the killer uh, Indians up in Skowhegan that have won the last 13 out of 14, and hopefully we can take one from them. Right on. We're here with a very important update from Mr. Woodhouse. It is clear through the Scarborough School Board, as well as the faculty and all the people in Scarborough, that the colors we have at Scarborough, red, white, and black, are appropriate. I myself would like to go back to the red and white, the original school colors, but we're feeling that the black is an essential part of our uniforms. That's your update for today.